Oh boy, do I have a book for you. Uh, okay. So, welcome back to the channel, everybody. It took me a while to set up that lighting thing. But, today I'm going to be talking about and viewing Jay Baker's Peregrine. This thing's fucking amazing. Uh, I... I, I I think the best, the, the, the um, hmm, hmm. uh, yeah, so ever since I, even when I was reading this, when I was reading outside, because I read it, I read books outside, I started, I started to see birds in a way that I haven't before, and I'm sure I'm not alone in that, I'm sure other people have um, felt that as well when they were reading this, because it just has that fucking, that ability. But it's it's so fucking good. It it, it mm. um okay. I should just start out by saying um Peregrine by Jay Baker. This is an NYRB edition. I really like their I really like their editions. They're really nice. And, yeah, I just dislike them. Because the, the covers don't permanently bend and stuff, and it's just good. Um, basically, this book is about... It, uh, it's, it's, it's a non-fiction, whatever that means, um, about Jay Baker, the author. And he went out into the, into the British countryside in 1960-something and started... Following two peregrine falcons around, well, Terrasilum falcon, whichever, you know, just following the peregrines around, and that's the book. But it's not. It's really, really not. They're, like, what I just said is the fact. It is about that. But it's so much not. Holy fucking shit. Um, yeah. It, it, it's, um, I used to think that bird watching was on the same tier as um, fishing and golf. And, well, I kind of still do, but not as much as I used to because of this, this thing. Um, it's the it's about this dude's fanatic religious obsession, this fervor with a, with a bird of prey. And it's, if it's not about him wanting to become one, it's something very close to it. Um, it, love is not a strong enough word for his fascination with this thing, let's just say that much. Um, okay, so, um, it, 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 I mean, first off, it takes place in, in nature, and nature is basically timeless. I mean, who knows, maybe it won't be in the future, but as of now, we still have nature to go out and see. I mean, you can't really see it now because it's the whole lighting situation, but it's out there, and it's just waiting for you to go look for it. And that's you basically setting yourself up for timelessness with a, something like that, basically, is what I'm saying. Um... It takes the form of an epistolary, basically it's like, it's a diary that he, he wrote when he was out there. And it's, uh, it, 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 he just details, um, his encounters with the falcons, with these peregrines. Their kills, what they're doing, other birds, and very, very occasionally, his own thoughts and stuff. Just this utter religious fervor for a bird is, it permeates the entire thing, and it actually kind of infects you as you're reading it as well. It, his obsession is so well put into words and so well explained that I started to feel it myself, basically. Um, it's a book 
that as I was reading it, I felt this sense of beautiful and ominous solitude, which, it, I mean, post-pandemic, it kind of hit, you know? After everything went on there, back in 2020, fuck, fuck that year. Fuck that year. So, ugh. But, um, yeah. It's definitely not my favorite. My favorite is either... My favorite's either Sonoi by Mircea Cotarescu, A Dark and Real's Cat by Alexander Throat, but it's fucking... It's up there. It's fucking good. Um... But it's about the... It's as if he's striving for death by way of the apex of life, because if you've looked up anything about the peregrines... Number one, they are the fastest animal on the planet. Um, number two, from reading this, they are, like, biological weapons. They're so fucking deadly, it's, it's kind of scary. Um, there were also moments where, when it, when it got towards the end with the winter stuff, where it was talking about the birds all dying out and... Uh, and everything struggling that I was kind of really, really sad about birds that hasn't happened before. So, I, I don't know. I don't, I, I can't remember much, even though I just finished it yesterday. <laughs> so, I don't know what that says. But I'll try and explain why I feel that's the case. Because when you're fucking reading this thing, you're just hooked in. You're in the you're in the ride for the for the thing, whole thing. It's like you're flying through this place with the bird, with the falcon. You you you, you can't stop to process anything. All the trees and the bushes and the birds and st no, you're just in for the ride. So much is going by you at once that it, it just keeps going. It's just. It's just this relentless striving for life through death. It, it's, it's, so, it's so bizarre, and it feels, at least for me, it felt like I was in, it was like a dream. In a, like, it just goes by. It grabs you, you can't, you can't stop reading. And I just, it, 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 uh, this is definitely a life foreign life after novel, let me just say that much. I mean, it might, it hasn't, it didn't change me, but it definitely affected me. There's definitely gonna be a point when I look back and say, oh yeah, there was a time when I was 21 years old and I read The Peregrine. Yeah, I'm sure there's gonna be a time in the future where I'm like that. It's, it's just one of those books. I, 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 I. Cause being a film buff, being a film buff, I had heard about Werner Herzog talking about it. Because he's, like, a really good filmmaker. He is. And, um, the way he was, I, I, he apparently, it's, it's in apparently one of his lists, apparently gave it to his film students to read, which is, I mean, that's, I would agree, even if you're not in a film student, you should read this. Even if you don't like books, you should read this. It's just that good. But, um, I wasn't expecting how, I wasn't expecting the visceral physicality of this thing. It just, like the hawk itself, it just swoops down and takes you. And you, 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 I mean, I don't know, man. I just, I don't know. <laughs> it's like he, he's striving for like this this life where he doesn't have to worry about neuroses, like we, like human, humans have to deal with all these thoughts in our heads that make us question ourselves and shit. No, this bird does what it does and it, it does it well. It just kills and that's it and that's all it needs. And I can kind of see why he likes the, why he would want to be like that. Even with just my limited life experience of, 21 years. I still fucking see that. It's just... Oh, man. 
there is certain okay I, I bet it's about time I start reading some of the passages in here it really it's about time yeah all right so this is one of the more famous passages in here from what I've heard but the hawk flew to a dead tree and slept at dusk he flew east towards his roosting place Wherever he goes this winter, I will follow him. I will share the fear and the exultation and the boredom of the hunting life. I will follow him till my predatory human shape no longer darkens in terror the shaken kaleidoscope of color that stains the deep fovea of his brilliant eye. My pagan head shall sink into the winter land and there be purified. There was also, where is that other passage? I know it's in here. But yeah, when I read that, it was like, wow. That. <laughs> and this is the other one. This is the one I expressly circled because I was fucking just hit by it. I have always longed to be part of that outward life, to let, to be out there at the edge of things, to let the human taint wash away in emptiness and silence as the fox slobs his smell into the cold on worldliness of water. To return to the town as a stranger, wandering flushes a glory that fades with arrival. It, it's just... Okay, j just read it. Okay, there are other passages in there where he, um... He talks about how... It was near the end, and he was talking... He, he talks about how animals are just so fucking terrified of humans of uh, I think it was um part where um it was the part where uh he saw a bird and it was trying to get away from him and he put it out of its misery and he said some even when they're dying when they're on death's door even then they still want to get away from us he used the words of the human stench. We are the killers. We can never escape it. Or something like that. And I remember reading that and just... <sighs> the pros in this, man, sometimes it just stops you dead. But yeah. Fucking read it. That's all I gotta say. Definite 5 out of 5 or 10 out of 10 or whatever else you want to rank books. It, it, it's... It's fucking good.